Hey, welcome back. And if we haven't met before, I'm Sarah Deshaw, creator of the Master Your Instagram Aesthetic eCourse and blogger over at sarahdeshaw.com. Today, in this video, we're talking about how to make your brand's Instagram feed look cohesive. So if you click play on this video, you probably already know what that means, but just to make sure we're all on the same page, I'm talking about how to make your Instagram pictures look amazing, not just individually, but how to give your Instagram a cohesive style altogether. Here are a few accounts that I think do this really, really well. You can see how each of these brands have a unique style and how their pictures fit together and flow really well and definitely have a cohesive look. All of these accounts are pretty freaking amazing and have totally nailed their aesthetic in every way. Although I can't take credit for those accounts, if you wanna totally nail your brand's Instagram aesthetic, I go super deep into everything it takes to figure out what your brand's signature photography style is and how to DIY killer photos for your brand even if you're not a photographer and your only camera is your phone in my e-course Master Your Instagram Aesthetic. So if you wanna learn more about that, you can find it in a link below this video. But in this video, I'm giving you the top three things to look out for while you're taking your Instagram photos so you can get photos that will flow together really well and create a cohesive looking Instagram feed. But before I dive into the three areas, I wanna quickly mention a common misconception people have about how to make your Instagram feed cohesive. So a lot of people think that if they could just find the right filter, their feed would look cohesive. So while I do absolutely 100% recommend picking a great filter and sticking with it, getting consistent looking photos comes down to more than just slapping a filter on it. The best way to get a consistent looking feed is to focus on the three areas I'm about to share while you're taking your pictures and then use a consistent filter or consistent, or consistent editing style after that. Okay, so let's dig in. The first area to pay attention to in order to create a cohesive looking feed is lighting. While having good lighting is certainly key to having a good photo, in order to have a consistent looking feed, you need to pick your favorite style of light and stick to it. So for example, if you're going for a bright and airy feed, you'll probably always wanna photograph during daylight hours and avoid shadows in your pictures. Or if you want a darker, moodier vibe, you may wanna take all your photos after the sun goes down. Regardless of the type of lighting that you like, figure out how to do whatever is the one you choose and make sure that you keep photographing in similar light each time to really help create the consistency across all your photos. The second area to look out for to create a cohesive Instagram feed is colors. So if you haven't thought about what colors you want associated with your brand, this will definitely make a really big difference in creating a cohesive Instagram feed. So you'll wanna choose the top two or three colors that represent your brand or however many colors that make sense for your brand and always include at least one of those colors in every photo you upload to Instagram. You don't have to worry about including all the colors in every single photo, but you do wanna include at least one of your colors in each photo. So when you do that, when you look at your feed as a whole, it's gonna create a really consistent color palette. And if there are any colors that distract from your color theme, just move them out of the frame before you take the photo. Or if you notice them after you've already taken the photo, you can just crop them out or edit the colors out when you're editing your photos. If you're not sure how to pick your brand colors or if you wanna make sure you pick the right ones, I have an awesome free download for you today. It's called What Your Instagram Theme Colors Say About Your Brand. The guide explains what each of the top eight brand colors means so you can make sure your feed is communicating the right message about your brand. You can find a link to download the PDF in the area below this video. And the last area to pay attention to to create a cohesive Instagram feed for your brand is the mood of your feed. Whatever mood you're going for, whether it's energetic, elegant, chic, playful, or whatever else, You'll want to photograph poses or arrange objects in a way that align with that mood. If you're having trouble figuring out your colors and lighting, choosing a mood first may help give you more clarity about what colors and lighting would really align with, that, with the mood that you want to communicate with your brand. When you're deciding what mood you want to communicate, definitely give some consideration to how you want your followers to perceive your brand. Once you've nailed consistent lighting, Colors and mood, your feed should be so incredibly cohesive. 
All right, that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you'd like access to all of the free resources I have for entrepreneurs to make their businesses better, more strategic and more beautiful, head over to saradeshaw.com slash free dash resources. And before you head out, make sure to subscribe to my channel and say hey in the comments area below. All right, I'll see you guys next time.